Alright, working on a little water cool brakes uh, today. And I think where we left off was uh, I was just finishing up and I had to plug these holes. Like I said, they look like hell, but uh, there's a patch underneath there and then I, I filled it in and tried to fill in, uh, put some brass in there, so it filled it in a little bit. But uh, I like the way it turned out. And here's the other one. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clean this all up. Matter of fact, I just got this in the mail seconds ago. I got a, it's a small blade, small diamond blade, and uh, I'm going to uh, put it on a small cutting wheel. That way I can get around, around a few places. I haven't tried these. Uh, from what I hear, they're pretty good. It's supposed to last 30 times longer than a regular uh, disc, so. And you won't have all the dust, you know. With them other discs, you get more dust than anything. So, I'll, uh, I'll put a link in the in the bottom there. Anybody wants to try them out themselves. But uh, I do have a lot of cutting to do. Let me turn this upside down here. Yeah, that way I can cut in and get in between these little grooves and stuff. And uh, I gotta cut the the end off here and shape that. And then what we're gonna do is. Uh, Right now it's completely sealed, so we got to make an inlet and an outlet for the water. And what I'm going to do is uh, just take this standard fitting. I think it's uh, three eight to a quarter inch because all my fittings going to be quarter inch pipe. And uh, going to drill a hole through there, and then uh, braze that in place, and that'll be our our inlet. And then on the side here. I'm going to put one right here. That's going to be our outlet. And then that's going to go to the head. And then from the head, it's uh, going to go around and come out this side. So for now, we're just going to concentrate on putting these two in there and, and cleaning this up a little bit. So let me do that, and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Maybe take a few shots uh, in between. Okay. All right, we trimmed it up and uh, cleaned it up, and uh, I'm happy with it. It's the top, and uh, we got a good seal all over with the with the brass. Even though it's going to be uh, in, in case with epoxy, I wanted to pretty much make it watertight with the, with the the brazing. But uh, that came out pretty good. So uh, now what I'm going to do, uh, we're ready to poke a hole, ready to poke a hole in here for this one, and then uh, a hole over here with this one. I guess uh, we'll try the unit bit. It looks uh, a little bigger than 5 eighths, I guess. All right, let me get out the drill and we'll uh, see what we can do with that. Looking good. It's starting to, starting to take shape. All right. All right, I'm going to try to uh, drill a hole and put this uh, little fitting in here. Right here, it just happens to be a little crater, so I don't have to center punch it. That's uh, just right about where I want this thing. I was debating whether to go with the uh, steel or uh, or brass fitting here. I'm going to try brass and see how it goes. I don't know if it's going to melt while I braze around it or uh, or if it's going to get too hot or what. I don't know. We're going to we're going to try we're going to try brass first, and if that works, that'll be fine. And if it don't, then we'll just clean it up and uh, go with steel. All right, let's do something. All right, I started the hole here, and it uh, worked pretty good, but. Uh, I figured I'd show you this unibit here. A lot of guys never even heard of them. Uh, these things are pretty cool. Instead of keep changing bits and everything, going bigger and bigger, these things here just go at uh, increments here, all the way to whatever size you want. When these first came out, you know, I was a little skeptical about them, you know, back in, way back in the 70s, but uh, they really are, really are good. Uh, this one here, if you do get one, don't, don't, don't go to Harbor Freight or get on like that. Get a good, good one. This, here's, this one here is actually a Greenlee. Is the there's a number right there three four four zero three. So uh, it's good to have good to ha a good tool to have in your toolbox. And they're not that expensive either. I, I, this probably wasn't even twenty bucks, but uh, I'm not sure. But anyway, I'll put a, a link in the description for you guys that really uh, be interested in getting them. It's good to have. All right, let me continue on with this hole. Ok, 
here. We're getting pretty close there. So I think what I might I might do is I actually might tap that hole and and uh, screw that in there so it holds in place while I uh, I braise it up. All right, let me try that. All right, that worked out pretty good. And uh, I'll show you why because uh, this this isn't actually flat. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can turn it this way. But you see, there's like a gap on this side, and on the other side is uh, is uh, butted right up against that. That'll all be taken care of with all the bodywork and stuff. But at least that's uh, held in place so I can solder it in and it won't move. All right. What I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to put the hole in this other side here. That way uh, I can actually blow out. There's, there's probably a lot of a lot of slag and debris and stuff in there. That'll give me a chance to, to blow out whatever's in there. I'll even unscrew this other one so uh, this stuff has a better way of flying out. All right. I took the, the things out here and uh, I'm going to blow in here and suck it with a vacuum cleaner over here in this hole. So uh, plug your ears, put your air flugs on. I did that a little more, but uh, I lost my, you see right here, I lost my rubber tip. <laughs> my rubber tip was in there, so uh, I'm going to pull that out and then uh, use a different air hose. There you go, huh? That was easy enough. Uh, this one's probably a little better, it's got a longer nose on it, and uh, it's one of my favorite. Let me go this way. There you go. I must have had this thing for uh, 40 years or so. Never let me down. Alright, let's try this again. Spent about 15 minutes blowing that out, and I'm, I'm satisfied that there's uh, nothing in there. I can't feel anything, and I'll, I'll probably flush it with water before I, uh, I hook it up to any kind of radiator or anything. But even these holes up top go into the chamber. So, uh, like I say, I'm satisfied. There's nothing in there. We did the best we could. So now let's uh, braise these things up here. All right, just as I suspected, the, the brass fitting did start to melt a little bit, but uh, it wasn't bad, and the threads aren't in, in damaged or anything, so uh, it's uh, it's on there for good. And it's gonna it's gonna get ground down and, and shaped and everything, so it'll look good when it's done. But uh, I think I, I think on the next one I'll back down on the heat a little bit. All right, we achieved what we we're aiming for, so. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. Still needs a little uh, touching up and stuff, but uh, we got us a threaded hole there. So, uh, 
still needs a little, little uh, touching up, but uh, we're happy. We're happy with it, so. I don't know what it looks like with all this glare, because I know the shiny stuff throws off all kinds of imperfections, but we're happy with it. I'm trying to find a, a nice medium for you here, but uh, you know, I guess right there. All right, let me do the other one and uh, see how she looks. All right, we cleaned this one up, and uh, we like it. It's a little different than the other one because this was a little higher on this side than it was this side, but what, uh, we'll take care of all of that with uh, epoxy. But uh, when you cut when you cut it down like that, uh, it has a tapered thread on it. That's a, a quarter inch pipe thread, so you have to sort of retap it because when you cut it down like that, it, the the hole is actually too small for the fitting to go in. So uh, let's see if it works. There we go. There we go. That's uh, compression fitting on the other side there. That's going to be our uh, feed. Okay, let me uh, turn it over and we'll retap the other side there. Right, this side here seems to be okay because I didn't, I didn't cut the much off. It's a little wonky. You got to be careful putting it in, but uh, it goes in all right. And it, it tightens up where I want it to because uh, it's got to come around up top here. This one goes. This is only a short little one that goes to the head compression fitting. I see something that's a little odd to me. I don't know if you can see this. The 9 16 right? Too small. Can't get it over there. Alright, next size is 5 8 Too sloppy. So there's a 14. I figure I'd try metric. 14. Alright, too tight. Alright, let's try 15. Alright. Too big. I mean, is there something wrong with me, or uh, what the hell's going on here? Let me get this. Uh, you can always trust the adjustable. Good old adjustable wrench. And right about there. That's right where it goes, and that, that'll be tight enough. So it's still going to be uh, two threads, which is fine. So uh, we're going to leave it. Leave it the way it is. All right. Uh, I don't know where I'm going with this. I guess I guess our next step is uh, either do the epoxy work or uh, start working on a head. So uh, we'll decide what we're going to do with that and uh, we'll call this a video. All right, enough of this.